Hey, in this video, I'll explain how to create a responsive order form and link it to your product. Before we start, you should already have a product and have all the settings for your order form. Let's get right into it. To create a responsive order form, first go to Account, and then Order Forms, and then click on Create Responsive Order Form. You're now in the drag and drop editor. Before we get into that, click on Settings to set up the order form. First of all, you should give your order form a name. Your customers won't see this name, it's only for you so that you don't lose track later on, which may happen if you have several order forms. The next option you have is to set a favicon for the order form. What even is a favicon? Well, a favicon is the little image here that's displayed in the browser when you go to your order form. You can easily choose your own favicon here in the dropdown, but you have to upload it first. To do this, click on this link, then select Add New Image here, then Order Form Favicon as the image type. Finally, just drag the image to this area here. Be careful though, as the image must be exactly 32 by 32 pixels, as you can see here. I've already uploaded my favicon, so it's already displayed in the dropdown when I switch back to the tab. I just have to select it. Now let's move on. You have two styles available for the responsive order form, blue and lean. Just take a look here to see which design you like better, and then select it from the dropdown. If you want to further customize the style, you can add your own CSS code in this field here to further customize the order form. The last item here is display prices using the. Here you can choose how the price should be displayed, either using the symbol such as the dollar sign or with the currency code, which is the written abbreviation of your currency, such as USD for US dollars. Once you've done this, just click on apply and your order form will be saved automatically. Now let's talk about the drag and drop editor. Each of these fields here is a single element of your order form. You'll find them on the order form in the same way they're positioned here. You can use the editor to change the order and width of the different page elements, and even add or replace them with other components, which you can find here on the left-hand side. It's important to note that you can delete an element completely by clicking on the trash icon. However, some components, such as the shopping cart or payment plans, must be present on your order form, which is why this option isn't available here. In case you're wondering what the pencil icon does, it allows you to adjust the settings for each individual element. That's why I recommend you look at the different elements using the preview function in the top left-hand corner. I can promise that it's incredibly simple and self-explanatory. Once you've finished designing your order form, click on Save in the top left-hand corner. You now have to link it to your product. To do this, go to Account, and then Products, click on the pencil icon next to the product for which you want to use this order form. Switch to the Order Form tab, and select your newly created order form under this drop down here. Now click on the Save button below. There's just one last step before you're done. You need to link your order form to your sales page. To do this, go to the Links tab above and copy this link here. You'll need to add this link to your sales page, for example, by linking it to your Buy button like this one. Since I created my sales page using CoChannel, I can easily do this in the Page Builder by clicking on the button here and then pasting the URL down here. If you use a service other than CoChannel or a web designer, just ask them if you get stuck. Once you've added your order form to your sales page, you're done with this video.